Hey, man, isn't it good? I'm telling you guys, you guys have made it through this week. And, uh, you know, and I'm challenging your thinking in different areas this week. Uh, because guess what? We all need it. Uh, when the Holy Spirit brings certain things to me, he's challenging me also, as well as I'm interpreting things toward you. And so welcome to Daily Bread this morning. And may everything that we say and do and, you know, speak here uh, some way bring some edification to you. Uh, because we believe that our words are filled with anointing, uh, grace, as I said on Monday's Jubilee, uh, because Jesus is our Jubilee. He brings us freedom. Uh, God wants to do carry us to a place or keep us in a place where we totally depend on the Lord God to make life for us. This morning, we're going to be talking about words of wisdom. That's right. Speaking words of wisdom. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 18, okay, in verse 4, simply says this, The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. That's right. But the fountain of wisdom is a bubbling brook. In other words, the word is telling us where wisdom rests and how it comes out. All right, Wisdom rests in our heart because as we mature in the Lord God, we should be coming more wise. <laughs> all right. Now, everybody doesn't get that and everybody doesn't live that. All right. All right. Now, I'm, I'm just saying that, so don't get mad at me. OK, but everybody, as they grow or get older, they don't mature in the Lord. Some people, you know, they're still way back there where they first started, you know, and God bless them. We, we love them. You love them and whatever. But everybody doesn't mature. But as you do mature, wisdom rests in your heart more and more like a spring. OK, and it comes out of your mouth. All right. In every situation, we use the word of God to do certain things every day. OK, not not just in our prayer time and, and, and you know, and and when we are uh, confessing certain things and believing for certain things. But our words all day long. OK, represent what's in our heart. Regardless of what you're saying to a little child or what you're saying to an adult or how you're dealing with the enemy, okay, it still comes out of our heart, okay? And so because it comes out of our heart, we should, over, over time and over years and over experience and the things that we, we gain from anointings and giftings, we should speak wisdom out of our mouth in every circumstance, okay? Now, the scripture here shows us that wisdom has a storehouse and guess what? It has a delivery process. All right, in our hearts, out of our mouth, okay? What's in our heart, we speak out of our mouth every day. Now, first of all, make sure that your words honor God. In everything that you do, even this morning, when you got up and prayed, or maybe you're going to pray after this broadcast, or you're on your way to work and you're praying, or maybe you got in a rush this morning, and you know, and you got to get out of the house because you overslept, or you know, you overate, okay? <laughs> uh, guess what? Your words still should honor God. And all of your words should always edify other people, whether they are Christians or non-Christians, because you don't know how God's using you to get to the non-Christian. Maybe the Christian is already born again, and maybe there are things that you'll say that will edify that person's life, you know, and cause them to go, you know something, man? Yes, I can do that. Hey, let's go for it. But then there's that non-Christian who may be disappointed with life, who may be in a shadow of rejection. They may be under some bondage, you know, to the world. And guess what? And you can let them know, listen, listen, young man, listen, young lady, listen, I used to be in that world. And guess what? God bought me out. I used to be just like you. I was a sinner that habitually sinned every day. Now I'm a son of God. And if I do sin, I have forgiveness available for me through the blood of Jesus. You can always, your words can always cause God to get glory because now you're speaking to that person on behalf of what God's done in your life. You're letting that person know, hey, listen, I'm glorifying God. If there's any boasting, I'm going to boast in the Lord, okay, because I know what the Lord has done, okay? Second of all, your words bring healing to people, okay? They bring peace and unity to people. When you speak to people, you know, that have been downtrodden or devalued and you speak certain words to them, guess what? And you show them value through the words that you speak. You're bringing, you're bringing some form of value into that person's life that guess what? That person 
one day is going to glorify God for what you did, how you spoke to them, how you how you valued them, and you didn't put them down. Did you know, you know, I come from family members who, guess what? There are some family members who will take you like this, take you high, and then there are some that will take you down just like an elevator, just as fast as an elevator will. And, you know, I know family members that guess, I'm talking about my family, all right? I'm not talking about your family because you might get mad, but I'm talking about mine, okay? And, you know, and I don't really care about whether mine get mad or upset or whatever uh, because I'm just telling the truth. But there are some family members that, guess what, when they get around you, the first thing they want to do is try to make some mockery about you serving the Lord or whatever. You know, some, I'm going to uphold the Lord God. I'm going to boast in the Lord. I don't care what they say. They can act any kind of way they want. They can be heady, high-minded. They can be, have so much education that, guess what, the university don't have diplomas for the education that they have, that they think they have. Well, let me tell you something. You take people like that and around you and they're always around you, you have to make sure that, guess what, you maintain the words that are in your heart and you don't let them draw you off into the flesh, all right? Your words should be words of wisdom, okay? Speak peace and unity and, you know, and clarity into people's lives so that they know that, guess what, man, this person really cares. And then third, guess what your words can do? Your words can provide guidance for a person, okay? I can't tell you the people that I've spoken to, I've been in malls and stores, grocery places everywhere, and guys will pass by me that I know that are much older than I am, and I'll, when we walk by and I'll say, how you doing, young man? And you know that just saying young man opens up a conversation with them. Over the years, over 30 some years, I've had men stop me in the stores and just say, listen, I haven't heard that, that word young man since I was 17 years old. I haven't heard that young, that young man word spoken to me. Oh man, you know, I'm older than you. I said, doesn't matter, you're still a young man. Compared to eternity, you're just a little baby. You, you're in the embryo stage. I, I'll say all kinds of things and we'll start up a conversation. Why? Because I know the power of words. And when you speak the words, the right words to people, when you speak words of wisdom to people, you can change a person's whole outlook on life that day, you know? And so today's Thursday. You have, you know, 24-7 right before you today. Operate today in the power of wisdom by speaking to people wherever you are, even if it's yourself. Go look in the mirror and speak some words of wisdom to you. If you have, if you're at home today, you don't have to go out. Stand in the mirror and speak some words of wisdom to you. Faith comes by hearing, does it not? That's right. And hearing by what? The Word of God. Okay? We're talking about real hearing. Hearing by the Word of God. So as you speak out words of wisdom, you're going to bring much glory to Almighty God. Because God is a God of wisdom. He's a God of understanding. But He's also a God of wisdom. All right? And as James said, if you lack wisdom, just ask God. He'll give it to you. All right? Walk in wisdom, because I'm telling you, this is a day when common sense is not common, all right? We're living in a day when common sense is not common to common people, all right? And the power of God's wisdom in you is going to demonstrate that there's someone living inside of you that's greater than everything else around in this world. God bless you. Thank you for your time, Apostle Chastain Rock. I'll see you Friday morning. Stay tuned. It's about to get tight. <laughs> Amen.